an understanding of the anatomy and physiology of birds and the different body systems found in a bird is useful when understanding of how poultry work or function is sought. Knowledge of bird anatomy or the body parts and physiology the body functions enables the poultry industry to maximize bird performance and maintain good welfare practices. We are, we are group group three. Three. These are the parts of external anatomy of chicken. Comb to help to tell the cocks from the hen. Nostril. Develop their sense of smell while they are still in their egg. Beak. It is the chicken mouth. It is used for fighting and protection. What else? Help to cool birds down. Hackles. To show dominance over subordinate animals. Wing bow. The lesser the coverts of the shoulder or bend of the bird's wing when distinctively colored. Wing bar. A distinct mark on the top of a bird's wing caused by constructing color on the tips of the primary and secondary coverts. Breast. A lean cut of meat taken from the pectoral muscle of the under sickle of the chicken. Kill provides an anchor to which a bird's wing muscle attach, thereby providing adequate leverage for flight. Toenails. It is used for protection. Spur. It is used for protecting a flock from predators and defending territory. Fluff. It is used to keep the chicken warm. Fly feather. It is it's provide a large surface area on the wings for powering flight. On the tail, for manoeuvrability and all over the body for streamlined shape. Wing bay. It is triangular part of the folded wing. Sickle. It is long curling showy feathers of the tail of rooster. Main tail feathers. The long straight feathers forming the tail under the tail coverts. Saddle feather. Feathers cover covering the back or saddle before the tail coverts. In cocks they are long and painted. Saddle back. It is used for protecting chicken skin and feathers from damage due to rooster over mating. Cape. It is primarily for display. But it also serves us to cool the bird down. Earlobe. It serves us for hearing and other ear function. Ear opening. Interpret all sound around them and locate danger. Eye. The main function of this part is for sight, enable to detect predators. The differences of male and female chicken. Comb and spurs. The comb and wattles of the male will become much larger than the comb and wattles of a female. And the female spurs hardly develop at all when compared to the male. Vocal expressions. Everyone knows that a rooster crows while a hen doesn't. What is not generally known is that roosters crow intermittently all day long, not just in the morning. Feathers Adult males have distinguishably different feathers from those of adult females. The most distinguishable are the tail feathers which are long and stringy on the male. Hackle and neck feathers of males have pointed ends whereas those of females have rounder ends. In addition, males have sickle feathers in their tails and hackle feathers on their backs, which and females do not have. Size The male will grow taller and usually weight between 0.5 kg and 1 kg more than females of the same age upon reaching maturity. A male of one breed may weigh less than a female of another breed. This greater size is not apparent until the chicken attains 4 weeks of age. At one day old, there is no difference at all between male and female chicks. 